awesome. Alright guys, today we're going to talk about our trip to PRI 2023. Now those that are unfamiliar with that event should know that it is kind of the who's who of the automotive performance industry. You will see things from a pro mod that broke the quarter mile record going 272 miles per hour in a door car or a Mustang that has gone on an absolute tear and basically won every single class that it was entered in. Chances are, if you're doing something significant in the performance industry, you're going to be a PRI. Well, I don't think we hold a candle to the two examples that I just gave. It is really cool that uh, we have been invited to at least show something at the show for the first time this year. This is our third year going to this show, and we hit a pretty big milestone. As you guys know, we have been messing with these Vortec 4200 engines on the channel, and we have been developing these things for about five years. Now the first year that we came to PRI, the engine was not very well respected. Now I will say, there was one at the show, but it was not in the uh, most respectable of positions. It was literally a junk block that one company had laying around that they decided to show off the capabilities of their parts washer with. This sort of started a fire for me. Now I know the company didn't mean to disrespect the engine, but I felt like it deserved more respect than that. So we have been working to get one of these engines into the show ever since. The folks over at Artec asked if we would bring one of our engines into the show so that they could display their products. And I just want to say a huge thanks to you guys out there who are watching who have been following along for quite a while. Without you, we would not have the uh, recognition of the industry, and we most certainly would not be in this situation. So, thank you. Our tech decided to unveil a little bit of a surprise at the show this year, and they showed off the intake manifold that they've been working on. Now I've known about this intake for quite a while and it is really cool that they are ready to uh, show their intentions to develop a manifold for this engine. I think that it is a sign of things to come and I want to say huge props to Artec for uh, developing parts for this engine. Without the help of the folks at Artec, we would probably not be here. Something that was really cool for me this year is I got to meet my favorite YouTuber, and that is Rob Dom. I have been following him for about four or five years now, and I love his approach to his builds with uh, the rotary engines. They say, don't meet your heroes. What I say is, choose better heroes. Every single one of my heroes that I have met between Jay Marr from Real Street Performance, to Tom Bailey, to Richard Holdner, to Leo Santucci, have all been totally awesome to me. Now, I haven't met every single one of my heroes, but the ones that I have have been awesome. And it was really cool to uh, knock another one off of my list and get to meet Rob Dom. To a lot of people, PRI is just a big old pissing contest to show off the next ability, hotness, that you can't afford. 
But to us, it is a place to uh, get ideas, to see where the industry is going to be able to walk up to the industry expert on crankshaft balancing who's been doing it since World War II and say, how's that work? To run into some old friends or make some new ones. Midwestern. If you haven't gone to PRI, you should. It's a lot of fun. All right, guys, here we are back from PRI, and uh, we got a little bit of a surprise here. When we left PRI, one of the owners of Artec Performance sent us home with the intake manifold that you saw in clips a little bit earlier. Now, I wanted to get this fully installed on the car before I showed this to you, which is why this video is uh, a week delayed. And the reason for that is I really wanted to show off the, uh, the fit and finish of this product, and I'm pretty happy with it. So right off the bat, let's go over some of the design choices on this intake. First off, you're going to notice that the uh, runners here sort of taper towards the center, both in the front and back of the manifold. And the idea with that was to provide clearance for uh, if you're running a power brake booster, and also, it is designed to clear the factory alternator. Um, both of those things are not present on this car, unfortunately, so I can't show them in uh, perfect detail, but um, you'll just have to trust me that uh, it does clear the factory alternator. Now, if you guys came up to me at PRI, uh, a few of you may have heard me say that we were going to try to make 1,000 wheel horsepower before the end of the year, and we are going to do it with this car right here, which is my Ford Fairmont station wagon. Now, we've been trying to break 1,000 wheel horsepower with a 4200 since the beginning of this year. And unfortunately, we have not been able to do that quite yet. I will go over all of the challenges that we've been having in a future video, probably right when we break over that four digit mark. But one of the challenges is we need more injector on the 4200, and therefore I had to weld in these injector bungs into the Artec manifold. But let's go back in time and kind of show you how we got here. First off, we had to drill the holes for the injector bungs. I did this on a three inch setter line and pretty high up on the intake runner just because uh, there wasn't much room down near the port. I decided to use injector bungs from ICT Billet that were designed for like V8 engines. So I had a few extra ones in case I screwed it up. Next, we had to take the injector bungs and make them uh, blended in on the intake ports. So I worked on that with the die grinder. Last, the guys at Artec instructed me to weld all the pieces of the intake manifold together, so that's what I did. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little time-lapse segment. Frankly, it has taken a lot of work to get this prototype intake manifold to this point. And I am very happy with how it has turned out. Frankly, it is uh, kind of an honor to uh, have a company like Artec put so much faith into uh, us. And I have to say a big thanks to everybody out there for following along. 
It is really cool to uh, see the industry starting to take this engine seriously. And I think that really big things are on the horizon. So as I mentioned, we are going to try to break that 1000 wheel horsepower mark in the very near future. So cross your fingers, wish us luck, say a little prayer, and uh, hopefully we will be breaking that four digit mark in the very near future. So with that, I'm going to end this video off here. Thanks for following our PRI coverage. And thanks to everybody who stopped and said hi. It was very humbling to uh, uh, meet so many of you guys there. So uh, thanks for that. So with that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe buy a t-shirt. And we'll see you in the next one.